Hey, okay, got you news, everybody. David Schuster here. He has won two high school state basketball championships. He appeared in the NCAA Final Four and the Elite Eight, nine playoffs in 12 NBA seasons, including two NBA Finals. So when Jason Collins came out in Sports Illustrated with the words, I'm a 34-year-old NBA center, I'm black and I'm gay, it was a momentous moment. Collins followed up the Sports Illustrated article with this interview with ABC News' George Stephanopoulos. Always knew you were gay. Yeah. Eyes blue, but you keep telling yourself that it's red. So you fought it. Yes, in the beginning. Uh, I think you, uh, they call it like the 12 steps, you know, how you go through anger, denial, and all, you know, it's just, uh, but when you finally get to that point of acceptance, um, there's nothing more beautiful. Um, and just allowing yourself to, you know, really be happy and be comfortable in your own skin. Joining us now to talk about just what a watershed moment this is, is our favorite uh, Dave Zirin from the Edge of Sports. Dave, welcome to the program. Oh, hey, it's great to hear you, David. I, I can barely hear you, though. That's okay. We'll try to, well, we'll try to fix that. What was your Literally. reaction? <laughs> what was your reaction to there you Jason go. There you go. Um, my reaction was, I am so glad to be alive for history because that's what, what, that's what this is. I'm envious of people who were alive when Jackie Robinson broke into the major leagues or when other trailblazers made their way into sports and reflected broader trends in society, and certainly that's what we're looking at here. I mean, anybody who's tried to play this down this week by saying either, well, what are you going to do? They're, it's not that big a deal. He's not that great a player. I mean, Anybody who's tried to move the goalposts on this is frankly just simply wrong. This is history, it's huge, and it's something that really should not just be recognized but celebrated. What has jumped out at you, uh, Dave, in terms of all the reaction from fellow athletes and people in the sports world? Oh, I mean, without question, what's jumped out is the overwhelming support. I mean, people tripping over each other to provide support for Jason Collins. And i got to tell you, like, I think if he had done this even one year ago, it would not be similar. I think that's how quickly these changes have happened in U.S. society. I think a year ago it would have been different. I, w I think even six months ago it might have been different. But I think what's really exciting is that you have some of the people most celebrated by our culture, people like Kobe Bryant and The Rock, uh, stepping forward and saying, we have your back, we respect you, we support you. And that's huge because, yeah, maybe Jason Collins isn't a superstar, but if you're a 14-year-old kid, if you're isolated, if you're dealing with your own issues with your sexuality, and you see that not only is a pro athlete coming out of the closet, but he's getting support from the people in the absolute constellation of the cultural firmament, I think that's something that's going to help a lot of kids get through. 